but um, all the little tools and so on used to take a, a day to make. Wow. Um, all the um, all the saws have got teeth. And <laughs> wow. Now w we were we were looking at this one. It's the yes. the lady, and well, it was just like everything is so beautifully made. Her whole body and well, the whole. I, I everything. like doing that carving. The um, uh, this was one I made, and uh, the table, is, as you see, has got uh, lace work on the cloth. Wow. Oh, wow. But. Um, I didn't pretend ever to uh, compare with Grinling Gibbons. Have you ever seen uh, Grinling Gibbons uh, carving of a handkerchief for Chatsworth? No, no, no. There's a handkerchief carved in limewood that hangs on what yeah. appears to be a nail. Wow. And it's so yeah. convincing that people think it is a handkerchief. Oh, and uh, it's, it's got lace, it's, it's yeah. a superb uh, thing. Oh, wow. and, and I mean, if you've been to Chatsworth and seen the uh, carvings there, no, I they're very, very delicate now, unfortunately, right. because limewood is, gets a lot of uh, attack by beetle worm and yes. so on. And, uh, you know, it, it doesn't, they, they now have to be treated with almost immense care, or else they blow away in the breeze, but yeah. they're absolutely fantastic. Wow. And, uh, and then you, you get the great German uh, uh, woodcarvers, people like Riemann Schneider, um, uh, you know, in, uh, in the limewood forests of uh, Germany, but uh, they again are yeah. the woodworm of eat out from the inside and they're just almost like tissue now, oh. but uh, they're fantastic things. And uh, then you can get the incredible detail. Um, Lime is, is the chief thing that they used to, but, but I mean, if, if you could use um, apple and pear, the little uh, cameo box that she's got is a piece of pear, because that will take very high detail. Um, and uh, then little turn pieces uh, for the chair are in apple and so on. What about our hands? There's so much detail in that. Yes, yeah, so that's like lime wood. That's lime, lime wood. wood. Yeah, another wood you could use is box, so it's box, pear, apple, lime are the best woods, but box, pear and apple are all hard. Right. Lime is, is faster for carving. And it's, a, it's yeah. called bass in uh, the United States. Um, but there are different kinds of lime wood and that. Sorry, I'll give you back the one. Oh, right. <laughs> you didn't, sorry, did we share this one all right? Look, yeah, we're going to get another yeah. one. Yeah, we yeah, did. We it's beautiful. I have another one. There she is, she's rolling out the pastry. I think this one was our favourite one. Yeah, we were very it? impressed with her and, yeah. Well, that tool we yeah. used for, it was used in Selfridges uh, when there was a campaign on for the Taste of Wales and they had uh, okay. um, Welsh cooks there and this was going on in the uh, background. Wow. Um, but they enjoyed doing that, all the... All the the little sort of bits of parsnips and so on that uh, were nice uh, to do. Uh, yeah. But the, the trouble with any craftsman, of course, he never makes money because he enjoys doing what he's doing too much. Yeah. <laughs> but are you responsible for this building then? I own the building. My daughter runs this side of the, the operation and uh, we have... I'm the designer of the timber kits things oh, there. Yeah. And we now uh, sell those all over the world, really. Now. Yeah, so, they're really nice. <laughs> well, what I wanted to do was to get young people involved in the business of making things. Mm. It's a shame now that so few do, because, yes. you know, they imagine that using a computer is somehow creative. Well, it isn't. That's the creative bit. Mm. And um, I think they get conned into thinking that what the computer does is somehow creative. Well, it's not without their, their input, and uh, I think we're getting away from it and losing it a bit. And, well, just uh, touching raw materials as well. As well. Yes, 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 exactly. You should be. I, I, I had a group of would-be designers in that I was talking to, and um, I said, one wanted to make a, a man in a boat and, and so on. So I said, well, we've got to be able to think of where the levers and so on would go through. So what would that boat look like if it was viewed from the bottom of the pond instead of from above? And so on. So I drew it. And uh, there were a couple of students who said, how do you do that? So I said, well, you know, I, it's in there. Uh, I, I can imagine that boat from any point of view and, and then draw it. All I have to draw is what I, I see in my head. And he said, I can't do that. I said, no, it's because you're over-reliant on a computer. Yes. The compute, all right, 
it, uh, something put on the computer and then it's orientated in various ways. So you don't have to do it. So you don't think round the issue. Yeah, yeah. You haven't got it in your head to think round it. And that's, the, that's, I think, the problem. We're getting over-dependent on these wretched things instead of using them as a tool. But, but you, you were talking about hand-and-eye coordination. Mm, yeah. And I, I, when I used to be a teacher, I, I, one way of doing that was to get to draw a human being. We, what we used to do was we used to do a silhouette of a human being lying down one way, mm. and then a silhouette of a human being in the other direction, in plan, and then a silhouette in cross sections, and then we put them together, you know, slot them all together like a honeycomb, yeah. and that got children thinking what about the inside of shapes, yes. you know, how three different views, plan, elevation, and, and uh, section, could, yeah. um, you know, make it into a, a composite view, and, and in that way you could you could see your way into the volume. And, and you see, when you, I don't think people do life drawing and, and uh, still life drawing and things of like that as they used to. And,